Greetings, Italian teachers, everybody. I'm Simone Malone, your radio feel good man, a trusted and respected voice in the media. Hope everybody's enjoying the new year. We're just a week away from celebrating Valentine. But today I have the Miss Valentine here, Miss Lady Kimmy Smith who is the owner of Dose of Growth. We just got off the radio for a great interview and wanted you guys to get an up close and personal look at this woman who is full of inspiration and about helping people to grow and to feel better about themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome Lady Kimmy to Studio 236 of FMHDMS. What a delight to be able to have you here as my guest. We met last year. Yes. If you remember when we were at a pool party, a cookout, um, at Mr. Robert's house, and you had this beautiful, soft voice that walked up to me and said, hello, and you had your camera, <laughs> and of course, I turned around, and she was snapping a picture, folks, but uh, it, it's nice to have you here to spotlight you about your life and what you're doing with a dose of growth. Say hello to everybody that can see you. Hello, everyone. Good to be here and talk about a dose of growth. Yeah. What is, Lady Kimmy, what is a dose of growth? A dose of growth is all about this right here, mindset, mm -hmm. connecting with yourself, growing daily, just enjoying life, enjoying every moment of life and um, becoming a better person. Right. What type of experiences did you have in your life and, and God gave you this vision to have a dose of growth? Because a lot of times um, ministries, businesses stem out of uh, people's goals and aspirations, but was there things going on in your life that you decided that uh, God deposited something into your spirit that you wanted to create a dose of growth, be, dose of growth, because people should always be about growing and learning and loving themselves. Yes, I went through a lot of life experiences, family experiences, death experiences, um, just my own personal issues, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, but. I want to make a change. And everything that I went through, I always felt like if I'm going to share it as a dose of growth, I want people to be able to see the flip side, both sides, what happened and know not to stay stuck. Like if something has, is bothering you or you've been in a situation, um, like I said again about death, you have to realize that in life, when we're born into the world, we're going to die. People, you know, get sick and they die. And we, we just cannot stay stuck in one section of our life of holding on to it. I've made a real bad mistake of holding on to it. So during that period of holding on to my mother's death at first, um, I deprived myself a lot of, of a lot of happiness and I kind of isolated myself from people. I didn't, I just was totally resisting what they were really trying to help me to see is that my mother would want me to go on Absolutely. in life, but I was resisting. And, and I use the word resisting a lot is because a lot of people do that. Sometimes the subconscious talks to you, which con consciously speaking is talking to us all the time. Mm -hmm. It's like, if you know you're doing something wrong and then you're going, no, you're just not trying to accept it. Well, I did that. And I really came to a point in my life and said, I got to stop resisting and grow. And I must share this with other people yeah, yeah. to help them. And, and I enjoy it. Yeah. You know, I really, 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 I can honestly say right. I enjoy sharing my stories. Yeah. And when people come to me on a day-to-day -day basis, even at work, a lot of people come into work on a typical Monday morning. They're like, I say good morning, and they're like, well, what's so good about Monday, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what's so good about Monday? It helps you to just, plan the rest of your week. We just <laughs> Command your day. <laughs> exactly. So it's just about mindset. And every person that I touch in the day-to-day, -day, I just, you know, want people to feel good when they're around me. And I want um, them to feel good. Right. I'm really pushing that, pushing that growth, the dose right. of growth, the energy. Yeah. You know, it's so hard for uh, so many people to... Um, deal with death and to get over death. I know some people that I've been counseling about that. And I find that many people who they deal with death differently. They do. Um, but sometimes people have a tendency to do negative things to themselves. Correct. You know, whether it's uh, alcohol dependency, other drugs and things to fill that void of the person that left their life, whether mm -hmm. it's their mother, father, close friend, boyfriend, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, 
But my question to you is, how did you snap back to get yourself together? You know, realizing that, listen, you can't stay in that state. You got to grow. You got to do something with yourself because that's what your parents would want. Exactly. Um, I, you're right. And you know what? I was stuck for a couple of years, to be honest with you. Were you depressed? I was very depressed. I mean, really, I almost felt like I was just really going to lose my mind. I wow. was so attached to my mother. And I think what we as humans have to realize, and as parents, and that when we are teaching our children about life and death, it's clearly in the Bible yeah. that it says, you know, with life comes death. Yeah. And we're all going to go. We cannot live forever. And sickness ha happens. Um, I believe God put the right people in my life. Yes. And, and I received the connection. Like, I really pushed my mind in a different direction. And when I say I pushed my mind, I just received it. I really received the message of what God and the universe was trying to tell me to let it let it go yeah. and my I gotta live my life I mean, I'm supposed because we lose loved ones but you know what what people have to turn around and think about it's not your time you're supposed to be here a little longer because right. God wants you here a yeah. little longer to do and, something with your life and, and there's to a be reason it. That's why right. that's right that's right and you know what I when I talk to people and I'll never forget my father told me one day he said you know you're gonna be telling someone and encouraging the people when they lose a loved one or their mother. Mm. And sure enough, that's exactly what I'm doing. That's and I know my parents right now would honestly be smiling. Absolutely. They'd be very happy. They're shining down on you. Yeah. yeah. If they uh, could see the fact that I am actually just yeah. encouraging people to continue to grow in life that's while right. they are here yeah. and love the moments. Every day and get that adults growth. That's right. So these, <laughs> the adults of growth is people can hear you and watch some of your video segments. Yes. Can you share that information? Look into that camera and share that information. Sure. How people can follow you and get I'm sprinkling a dose of growth. Go ahead. You can reach Kimmy, Miss a Dose of Growth, on Facebook. You can check me out on my Facebook, Kimmy Murkison Smith. You can also connect with me on a dose of growth and. For this year, 2019, my intentions and plans are to really do a lot of networking mm -hmm. with people in the New Jersey area, New York area, Philadelphia area, all over. Yeah. Because um, I want to just be there and make some new friends. Yeah. Because making new friends is good. You know, <laughs> hey, why not? She made a friend connection with me here at Studio 236. I want you to share something real quick and then get, let you give some shout outs and any other words you want to share. There, there's a, a great caption you have here. And I want to read this to the viewers. You said, if you are not growing, then you are not living. Mm -hmm. If you are not living a fulfilling life, then you are not growing. Okay. Why not? Why not? I'm talking to you. <laughs> Gain a dose of growth. A dose of growth is the right way, which goes a long way of treating yourself with Love. I think that's so amazing, that caption. Can you talk about that, really? It's all about the love. Yes. It's all about love. I want people, when you connect with me, and what I would like for people to get out of this video is to really start making a better practice of loving yourself, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. Because when you love yourself, it's not just going out, buying that $300 bag. Mm-hmm. But it's really about loving yourself up here and really yeah. doing something good in a day. Um, it could be doing a good deed. Mm -hmm. And, you know, monetarily speaking, you know, I'm just getting started with a dose of growth of sharing. Mm -hmm. And I know God is going to guide me because I ask God to guide me every single day, every morning to guide my voice of speaking to people from my heart and sincerely because a lot of people think sometimes when you're speaking or starting something new, I want money, 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 money. It will come. Right. But you've got to believe in everything you do. Because, you know, I'm a speaker. There may be someone that wants to be a good cook. You might, well, you might yeah. want to be anything. Mm -hmm. But you know what? 
you got to believe in it. And I believe that a dose of growth and what my message is to people will reach a lot of people in the right way with God's blessing. Yes. And the right energy to spread all around the world. Absolutely. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you want her, Miss Kimmy, please reach out to her, get her to be a part of what you're doing. Have her to share some words about a dose of growth because we all need to continue to keep growing. I'm growing every day. Spiritually, you know, we grow in our emotions. Hopefully we're growing somewhat financially with everything that's going on around us. But you have to love yourself and learn to snatch victory from any of your defeats. Say hello to anybody special and give your final words. I want to say hello to all of my family, all my Facebook friends, everybody around the world. And just so glad that I could connect with everyone today and um, have a beautiful day mm -hmm. and keep growing. Gain that a dose of growth. Absolutely. <laughs> Tell me about your experience here from radio to, to TV with uh, the Radio Feel Good Man. And thank you so much for being such a great supporter of me, thank liking you. my pictures and uh, following me, watching my inspirational moments. Two inspirational people together <laughs> can bring a dose of growth. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Well, you know what? I want to say you also have a very nice saying that I think people should be aware of. First of all, you have a pleasant smile, but on your email, you also indicate, and I can't say it word for word, right. but it's basically about what you um, possess inside. That's right. Don't be afraid to share it with That's the it. world. That's it. Because everybody has something to share. Everybody has a story. That's right. Everybody has a talent. Absolutely. And I think everyone's talent should be exposed to the world. Exactly. And everybody needs a dose of growth. Let's say it together. Everybody, everybody needs, everybody needs everybody. a dose of growth. A dose of growth. Give your social media <laughs> information one more time where people can reach out. You can out. reach Miss Kimmy Markison Smith on my Facebook. You can also connect with me on my Instagram mm -hmm. and YouTube channel, A Dose of Growth. Wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me to be on my show. That information will scroll across the screen here. Call me at 215-224-4297. You need global recognition because you're doing some amazing things in your life and you need a dose of growth. Thank you for joining us from my guests right here at Studio 236. I'm your radio feel good man, Simone Malone, a trusted and respected voice in the media. Have an amazing day and I'm sprinkling. Yeah, a little dose of growth on you. Bye-bye.